Greetings and welcome to the Haiku Pond, a place to ponder life through haiku. My name is Anthony, and I'm the caretaker of the pond. During this visit, we will revisit the theme of love and loss and feature haiku submitted by other poets. To prepare, let's take a deep breath and dive into the pond. From Liam Maguire on Twitter. Things that end too soon. A good book. Nighttime downpours. Life. From 17ONG on Instagram. Christmas presents you will never open. Sitting forlorn. From Monster Poems on Twitter. Holding her tightly, unable to stop my tears. Life fled from her eyes. From Haikus Angry on Twitter. I can't forgive you. Where were you when we had drowned? Nowhere to be found. From Jamie Wimberly on Instagram. Falling snowflakes. Through strings of light, a stolen kiss. From Full Poetry on Instagram. You never notice the absence of someone loved until they're gone. From Carissa Hoyman on Twitter. Nature has a way showing us her loveliness. We should be grateful. From Mallory Rowe on Instagram. We kept our promise to meet in every lifetime and love without end. From Melody Wong on Twitter. Silenced at his wake, the cloying scent of roses amplifies absence. Anonymously submitted. A shell of himself, he forgets you were his love, memory fading. From Read Write Haiku on Twitter. Warm sunshine on white sycamore, heartache sweet. Love and loss are interconnected. We can't love something without facing the reality that we'll lose it. And in the reverse, when we lose someone or something, we don't realize how much love they gave us. These haikus speak to that connection of love and loss. And for me, they remind me of the importance of being present and honoring those we love right now. Because we don't know what tomorrow will hold. As an expression of my love, Thank you so much to the poets who submitted their haiku for this episode. There were quite a few, and I appreciate them. I appreciate your permission to share them and for the trust you've placed in me. Your contributions are helping to grow the haiku pond, and wherever you are in the world, I send you love and gratitude. If you're listening to this episode and you want to connect with those poets or reread their haiku, you can find both in the description of this episode. Give them a follow and see more of their wonderful work. Lastly, if any of these haiku or the questions to ponder from part one inspire you and you want to share, please feel free to reach out. I want this to be a community space where everyone can share. 
You can leave a voicemail via anchor.fm slash the haiku pond. Send an email to the haiku pond at gmail.com or find the podcast on Twitter at the haiku pond. I, and I'm sure the listeners too, would love to hear what inspiration you've taken to express more love. As a reminder, here are the questions from part one of Love and Loss. Where are the small moments during your day in which you can express love to those you care about? That concludes this week's episodes on love and loss. Next week, we'll explore Give and Forgive. Episodes are released every Monday and Wednesday. Thanks for listening and keep writing haiku. Thanks for visiting the Haiku Pond. If you've been inspired by what you've heard, please share the show with a friend. For more haiku, you can follow me on Instagram at Haiku by Fifi. And for podcast updates, follow the pod on Twitter at the Haiku Pond. For more episodes, visit anchor.fm slash the Haiku Pond.